This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, who shall show my poem to first, Yuri? <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. Oh, this one sucks. There's a Sayori word in here. That ruined the whole thing. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. <laughs> I mean, you can share the poem in Twitch chat, that's fine. <laughs> do you... Oh, do you like it? Already, this one might be even better than yesterday's. Impossible! I didn't get a perfect 20 for Yuri. I got only, only got 19 out of 20. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Sure, Jan. Maybe that's why... You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. You gave it maximum imagery last time! Yuri vis visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid. But seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, uh, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. It was great, Yuri. I love it. I've already seen it before. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. Don't worry. Artie's got photographic memory, so he just needs to glance at it, and then he has the whole thing. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault. Oh, this is all the same, I believe. Nope. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, this. Her unusual hobbies. Sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Artie? Well... Yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a bit now. Yeah, you are. Skip. Oh, darn it. There's a there's just slight dialogue changes. I might be ranting a bit now. But I'm glad you're, you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Yuri Nation. Not, no, I'm part of the USA, not Yuri Nation. Writing. Listening. There really aren't many people like you, Artie. That's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's... it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. Just for a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Yay! <laughs> Speak to the Monikager. Well, speaking of the Monikager, hey, Monica. Hi again, Artie! Let's go here. This one's good! It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Well, it, you can't give worse advice than Sayori did. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm... I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. More talented than you! I, I, yeah, totally! I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah, there's nothing more romantic than a raccoon eating blood. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that, too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you would get some great out-of-context quotes from watching people play this game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much of a personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not! I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that... You must be pretty into her. Guilty. Ugh! You, you completely misunderstood! Ha ha ha! Calm down, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that
That's a good quote. Besides, I'm pretty sure she already has a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica, oh wait, she, she blurted that out loud. Did you know Yuri has fictional boyfriends? Monica! <laughs> Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's nothing really wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, read my poem. No. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> People usually have interesting reactions to seeing... MC Haining with Sayori. I'll put it that way. <laughs> okay, that's, that's not a good quote. Yeesh! <laughs> Alright, Sayori, are you gonna totally insult the poem again? Ooh! I like this one, Artie! It's because I put one word in it that made you happy. It has some nice feelings in it. Well, one... Oh, I'm glad. So it's at least better than yesterday's. Uh-huh! Anything would be better than yesterday's! <laughs> Maybe I'm getting better at this, then. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go in by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. But then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. It's like I pick your words for Yuri, and then you jump for joy. Like, yay, I'm stealing this one. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Ugh, this is why you're the hardest to write for, Sayori. <laughs> why don't you at least try giving it some more thought? That's a good poem. I like the, uh, the references to Sayori's bottle poems. That's a nice one. Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oh, foreshadowing. Uh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet! Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. So basically, she's effectively describing the movie Forrest Gump right now. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your heart, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice, happy rainbow! Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Huh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all! Thanks, Artie! I should go write that down, then! You can read my poem now, okay? Nice bottle poem. It was great. I really like it. Holy crap. That was such a good poem. Hey, Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. Because there's one Sayori word. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Huh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me! Eh? You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. X A on the Uri Yay. You know Yuri would love this kind of this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean. It. I, I mean. Ugh, looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow stuck a struck a nerve, though. What I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. And unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. True. Okay, everyone, now we have the terrible poetry performance. It actually wasn't terrible. But now we get to skip, skip, skip! Alright, Natsuki presents hers. There we go. We go home. Sayori asks, what if Yuri wanted to walk home with me? Sorry, Sayori. We're walking home with Yuri. 
Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Be honest, it does, dude. Ha ha! You admitted it! Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Also, if Yuri lives on the other end of town, like, opposite of our house, that wouldn't really work out. Like, part of the reason we walk home with Sayori is because our houses are literally right next to each other. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. All right, let's see Artie screw up the poetry game again. Whoops. I'm incapable of doing a perfect Yuri one on my own. Electricity! ETERNITY! <laughs> Yuri, why is Disown one of yours? Alright, same as last time. One Sayori word. The rest are Yuri's. Cool. Aw oh, man! I missed out on pi piano practice again. <laughs> Alright, why does it feel like I'm being watched? Well, because you're being streamed right now, and we've got people in Twitch chat, that's why. Also, Yuri's staring at you. I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. I'm staring at you. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. False! First time we went to the literature club, she went right up to us and introduced her, uh, herself. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? I have no thoughts. How were you even able to tell what I was thinking like that? Well... It's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot, based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything! I didn't do anything creepy like that! In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Oh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? Oh, great! OBS disconnected! Alright, we back. Sorry, my laptop just loves cutting out the stream while I'm streaming. Duh. S sorry I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, uh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Artie, the world is full of meaning often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what she may be going on inside her head. And she may not always want know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? 
Ah, uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes... A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings that you weren't even aware were in you. That is... That is... To think that... Uh, I think that... She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So, I think I'm a pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off of this whole thing anyway. Okay, everyone! Alright, Yuri. Artie, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This... feeling... <laughs> I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. Ah, I really like this sprite of hers. The bashful, embarrassed face and that little smile. That's, that's adorable. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really... had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Artie, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact... I always have some books with me. You could say that I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But... Books are so full of, full of so... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just... Know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way... I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Artie. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Artie. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like everyone else. Anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um... If you put it that way... Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah. I do! Let me get it for you. This is a new one. Ghost Under the Light, Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. 
My heart pounds. The silhouette gl grows. Closer. Closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I'm too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Finishing the poem, I hand it, start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you... dislike it? Uh, no, of course not! I just... don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems, usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but... I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can... Um... The poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Aw, that's, that's a really cute scene. I really like that one. <laughs>